All right, first time I've used this tool in all my years, I've never had to check any of my inverter boards or compressors on any of my commercial installs because only I installed them, only I serviced them. This is the first time somebody else touched one of my units instead of me and now I'm checking for a dead compressor. Let's see what it is. And initially on this job, all it was was completely plugged air filters and one inside air handler control board was down so the motor didn't work and the technician thought, let's throw in 20 plus pounds of refrigerant and that'll make it work again. And this is a two motor configuration. These work as master and slave two compressors this is a 96,000 BTU I think this is was a 72,000 BTU and by all the oil squirt all over the place and mess they made this is where they filled it up and this is where the question dead compressor is let's find out what happened I'm about to turn on the master I already have the slave turned on power and supposedly now this takes several minutes supposedly I have all the indoor thermostats in all the rooms calling for cooling. Right now <clears throat> that I turned on the power, it's supposed to go through all its checks. I just heard a solenoid open up over there. This one has already gone through all the pulses. All the solenoids have clicked. The expansion valves have rotated all the way out and all the way back in to find their center. And this is, um, have the compressor disconnect and I have it hooked up to UVW, the output. I'm listening to the ticking over in the master. I still hear occasionally some self-centering of um, stepper valves, stepper solenoids. Remember in these systems, every time you turn off an inverter type system off, they go through a self-centering and check system where you turn them off, you turn them on it sends out a signal to a lot of the stepper valves and it'll literally front seat them and back seat them and then sometimes come to a middle seat and they'll count their positions so they know where they're starting from and then go through their mode of operation to go through a startup. And every time you turn these off and on to do a test or diagnose something and you have to do it many times it's like watching grass grow and on this thing I have to take a ladder down from the third floor all the way down walk around into the building and then walk up several flights of stairs the reason I'm holding my camera here Supposedly on some of these systems, when you have the compressor disconnected and it gives a command to the compressor, but it doesn't sense compressor rotation, it'll immediately kill power to the inverter board and you might only get a few seconds of lights. In some situations, you may have to leave the wires to your compressor that I have disconnected here hooked up and back probe into your wires or get some sort of uh, connection. Okay, yeah, there we go, we got clicks. I got fan rotation on both master and slave system. I'm looking over at the master and I see, there we go. 
we got all six. Supposedly, this means the system is working correctly. And on these systems, you cannot probe. There it goes, it just shut down. All right, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna call for an off on all this stuff, because this is gonna set a code now, because I just went through all the procedures of connecting everything up. So I had all six running. Now I'm gonna go through a shutdown. I'm gonna perform this test a second time with the compressor hooked up, because I wanna see the difference. First time using this. Never had to use this before. Only one time about 12 years ago did I have to check one of my inverter boards after a power surge on a small Fujitsu system. But that I did manual probing, opened up the manual, took apart the board. It was a several hour um, little series of work to do that and I always swore I never wanted to do that again. Be back.